Happy to be back behind the microphone once again. Finally home after a lot of traveling. I hope you'll listen in today as we continue to talk about and learn about what's going on at Bible Tracks Incorporated. Thanks so much for listening. Welcome, my friends, to the Bible Track Echoes radio broadcast. I'm your host, Micah McCurry. I have the privilege of serving the Lord as a full time evangelist and as director of Bible Tracks Incorporated. If you're unfamiliar with our ministry, I'd love to introduce you for just a moment. Our ministry, Bible Tracks Inc., or as you'll often hear me refer to it, BTI, is based out of Bloomington, Illinois, and as such is centrally placed to ship our products all over the world. What are our products, you may ask? We have the opportunity, the God-given mandate, to print and distribute gospel tracts, Bible tracts, all over the world free of charge. You see, friends, the gospel is free, and so are our tracks. God has allowed us to print, ship, distribute over 588 million tracks in the last eight plus decades. Our founder, Paul Levine, was led of the Lord to begin this ministry many years ago, and God has blessed ever since. My predecessor, Pastor Mark Smith, one of the counselors that I turn to when I have questions about this ministry, I had the opportunity to actually interview him on the radio, and I always seem to glean so much wisdom from him when I do talk to him. But my predecessor, for the past 15 years as director of this ministry, worked and labor to leave this ministry with a strong footing for the future. And I'm so very happy that he did. Today on the broadcast, we will turn our attention back to our latest newsletter. There are so many gems that I believe would be worthwhile for you to hear. Now, understand this. Normally, our newsletter is sent to donors to our ministry, even if it's a small donation, say $5, $10, it's such a huge help. Understand this, that each track costs just pennies for them to be printed and shipped. And so the opportunity that you have with just a few dollars to make a massive impact, you see each of those tracks could lead to a salvation of a soul. Someone accepting Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. And so as, a, yes, a reward, but also to keep our donors updated about our ministry, we send them a newsletter. And I'd love for you to consider receiving our newsletter for yourself as well. But in the meanwhile, I'd like to share some testimonies that we've included in our newsletter. I'm not going to give you all of them and you can actually read the rest of them for yourself on our website, BibleTracksInc.org. At the conclusion of this address, of this program, the announcer will come on and he will share with you all of the ways that you can contact us. If you'd like to receive our newsletter in physical form, we'd be happy to mail it to you. We have a limited quantity on hand, but we'd love to send some to you if you'd like one. Now, we turn our attention to this newsletter. Pages 12 and 13 are filled with not only testimonies, but amazing pictures of people passing out our tracks in Pakistan, in Thailand, in the Far East, all over the world. And I'd love to share some of these testimonies with you now. Here's what Gary from Tennessee has to say. He speaks about our overwhelmed tract. It's SKU number seven, but it's a COVID-related tract with the virus and things like that. We have seen God use this track in a great way. Here's what he says. Thank you for your latest update. I am so joyful for your new overwhelmed tract. I've been waiting for some good Bible ministry like Bible tracts to print that sort of current times tract. We need these for these times. There's a great falling away as America seems to be imploding. Our Lord has allowed the enemy to bring all of this destruction to America, and God has been kicked out of almost all of America, including thousands of churches. I'm going to celebrate my 45th second birthday in June. I got saved at the age of 30, and for many years, I would give out and place gospel tracts each month in about 80 businesses within a 50-mile 
radius. Unfortunately, so many of these businesses have been closed and may never open again due to shutdowns, but I have been praying daily in the morning, asking God for an opportunity, an open door for me to go. My church, Cornerstone Bible Baptist Church, we work and put together hundreds of thousands of Bibles annually, shipping them to 60-something missionaries worldwide. Now, at the age of 76, I have slowed down a little bit, but thank you for your prayers. Your gospel tracks are solid and so often freely accepted. Thank you so very much. Now, Gary from Tennessee, thank you for that inspiring testimony. And let me say this, as the world, not just America, but the world seems to shudder in fear with all of the circumstances and situations of life that have confronted us, friend, the opportunity for the gospel's sake is so very great. Here's another one from Cheryl from Wisconsin. I listen to you every day. Thank you for all you do for the kingdom of God. Iron sharpeneth iron, and you do that. I want to go tell people of the hope that is in me. Thank you again. Now, I'm going to skip past some of the other testimonies on here. I'm going to encourage you to read the testimonies that are on page 13 of our newsletter. As I mentioned, this is one of the longest newsletters we've ever put out with about 19 or 20 pages. I'd like to, if I could, read the foreign update from Brother Shahid Kaleem in Pakistan. This is found on page number 14, and you can actually see some pictures of these tracks being distributed in Pakistan. What a blessing to see these tracks in the language that they read their predominantly Urdu. See them reading tracks in their very own language. Here's what Brother Kaleem says. Greetings in Jesus' name. He reads a verse, Acts 26, 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Thank you for your support in printing gospel tracts, Brother Kaleem says. The coronavirus is thankfully winding down there in Pakistan. The government has ended the lockdown and flights are being opened. I'm happy and believe that we will meet and share the work of the Lord, our God, and His Word during my next visit to the United States of America. And thankfully, Brother Kaleem is in the States right now. The good news is that over 10,000 people have come to Christ this year in Pakistan. As a result of gospel tracts, the living Word of God is at work here in this part of the world. People from different world religions and groups are accepting Christ as their Lord and only Savior and hope. As it is written in the book of Revelation 7-9, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. He says that they've distributed gospel tracts in about 29 different cities and rural areas. During our distribution, we learned how these gospel tracts are affecting the lives of thousands of people, almost as if they're the first drop of rain in the lives of many thirsty souls. There are millions of other people who are anxiously waiting for more gospel tracts. It's a very blessed opportunity to distribute even though we could not reach all the people we wanted to due to not having the full quantity of gospel tracts that we needed. So many people there are almost demanding the opportunity to get gospel tracts in their hands. And friends, the need is great. The laborers are few as well as the finances. There is a big festival going on in September, and as we discussed with you, we try to distribute close to a million gospel tracts, and I will say this parenthetically, thanks to the giving of some donors, we had the opportunity to print some of those tracts. We did not get close to a million, but we were able to print some. In this festival, people from all corners of Pakistan, including tribal areas, come to attend. In this festival, Catholics, Muslims, Hindus are gathered. We want to seize this opportunity. What a blessing for the opportunity to partner with people like this. He says, I thank each of you for your support and love. 
Thank you for being our partners in the soul-winning work in Pakistan. We believe that by joining hands, we can win more souls for the kingdom of heaven. We know that Jesus is coming soon, and we need to do what we can to win straying souls. Satan also knows that he has but a short time, and he doesn't want anyone to get saved. He desires to destroy and take souls to spend eternity in hell with him. I will say this, in this newsletter we point out that if you'd like to give towards the project of printing in Pakistan, you could do that. You can text the word GIVE, G-I-V-E, to this number, 309-316-7240, 309-316-7240. Unbelievable to know that thousands upon thousands of people have been saved there And we are so very thankful for people like you that give to make it possible. Now, tomorrow on the broadcast, we're going to cover two things. Number one, making a longer than life impact. And then lastly, this, going beyond the tracks. I know we normally go beyond the tracks on Tuesday as the opportunity presents itself. But tomorrow, we're going to go beyond the tracks with an article written by Austin Marriott. And we're also going to talk about making a longer than life impact. Let me say this before we close down the broadcast today. Next week, Lord willing, if he allows, we will get back into our discipleship studies. We're going to look at discipleship study number 10. I'm wondering if you've ever asked yourself a question like this. Have you ever wondered why you are not as good a Christian as you know you ought to be? Have you ever been deeply disappointed with something you've done since you have been saved? Maybe you've said this, I cannot believe I said or did that. Did you know that many others have faced the same dilemma, including yours truly? That juxtaposition, that warring, that fight between the flesh and the spirit is a powerful one. It's a deadly one. And that's why discipleship study number 10 dwells on the flesh versus the spirit. I'm excited to share it with you. I think it just might be a help as we cover that next week on the broadcast. Now, tomorrow, as I mentioned, we're going to conclude with our newsletter, Making a Longer Than Life Impact, as well as going beyond the tracks. I'm so excited to share this with you. Let me remind you that we have an open house coming up at Bible Tracks Incorporated on November. 7th. If you'd like more information about that, contact me directly. Email me, Micah, M-I-C-A-H, at BibleTracksInc.org. I would love to hear from you. As we close the broadcast today, have a phenomenal day for His glory. God bless. God bless.